Hey everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. This is day three of my stickation. Let's find out how much stuff can Sophia scratch off a list. So it's 10 o'clock, actually it's 10.27. I just got out of the shower, been very productive this morning. The kitchen is all clean, you can tell. Um, dinner was very good last night. I hope you enjoyed the little video. Those asparagus, I'm telling you, eight minutes and they just have the perfect crunch, that's it. You don't need to cook them, boil them, whatever. I like to do them in the oven. Anyway, I already edited yesterday's video. It's encoding right now, wish me luck. Hopefully I get to post it today. All right, so what am I gonna do today? Hmm, I'm kind of, on the fence. So here's the stuff I still have on my list. Uh, the kitchen paint, dining room paint, the outlet, silver crystal, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Door stopper, the sink, the leaves, I'm not doing it. Um, maybe this weekend. Bathroom floor, living room curtains, basement curtains, thank you cards, and the regular videos. All right, so I'm not really filling the paint, uh, even though I should do it. So I'm going to start with the door stopper, because that's easy. And well, in theory it's easy and then I'll do under the sink it's because we had a mouse okay and the cat who's not around has failed miserably at her job and I have mice droppings all over underneath the sink I really gotta clean it and I shouldn't forget the oven okay so this is the new door stopper it's this little thing right here and I'm gonna show you where it's supposed to go all right there used to be one this is the uh, Sally port the glass panel door that goes to the front door Okay, and there used to be one right here, but it broke. So as a result, this thing right here bangs into the wall right there. So I have to figure out how to unscrew this. Hello, hello. Okay, I don't have food on me. All right. Um, yes, yeah, so I think it's just a matter of unscrewing it and putting it back in, unless it screws on, I don't know. All right, let's find out. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's too complicated. I thought it had screws, but apparently no, it screws on its own. So I'm gonna try to remove the old one. And for the life of me, I have no idea how it broke. Okay, there we go. Procrastinated doing this thing. Uh-oh. For at least two years. Can I remove this? No, ah, so this is where it's gonna get complicated. Mm -hmm. You know, if I really wanted to do a good job, I would repaint the part where it's peeling. But I plan on repainting the living room and the dining room sometimes this summer, so I'll do it at that point. Okay. Well, that was easier than I thought. So let's see what it does, what it's supposed to do. Yes, yes, see? All right, excellent. So I can go ahead and scratch that off the list. Okay, uh, while I'm at it, let's do the outlets. So these are the new outlets, and I'm not too smart, you guys knew that. I have to replace the one that's right here, because we never put it back. <laughs> and we've been here seven years. Um, but this one, is a single one so I can't replace it and then I have the one behind here that's a double so I'm gonna do the two doubles today and then I'll stop by the Home Depot I'm sure I have to go there sometimes this week to get the single one to replace it here because I'd like to have them match okay so yesterday's video is actually uploading on YouTube right now so I'm right on track let's pray make sure that this thing is going to work what do you want look at him Okay, all right, yes. Okay, so let's do under the sink. Oh, yes. Maybe I should put them in the crate. What do you want now? Yes, okay. I'm gonna open this, all right. So now, 
I put this on because a certain somebody keeps on getting in the trash. And that's the only way to stop him. Um, and this is, are you ready for this? A disaster in there. Wow! It's so bad. Yeah, there's mice droppings. Yeah, that's right. There's mice in the house. Stay away from the trash. Okay, move this out of the way. Oh my god. Get, no, don't touch the trash. Okay. Empty this first. Do you know why I have absolutely no problem showing you this stuff even though it's absolutely disgusting and should be very embarrassing? Well, this is real life, okay? We live in the burbs, we got mice, all right? This is the only place in the house where there's mice and trust me on that, there's no droppings anywhere else. It's just here because of the trash can and I have a feeling they're coming from, because there's no hole. They come from, from the area over there, so maybe I'll put some foam, you know, that expandable foam to stop them from coming in. Um, or, I don't know. I don't know what else I'm going to do because I can't leave the trash can outside. The beagle will go after the trash and it's a pain. It really is. Alright, let's get started. I'm gonna go get the expandable foam and I'm just gonna patch this hole right here um, see if I can stop them from coming in because behind that wall it's just it's bizarre that kitchen was expanded um, probably in the 80s and right about two feet from this side used to be the actual size of the kitchen and then they expanded it outside so it's on the uh, kind of like a crawl space it's not really insulated so it's cold on the other side but that's an area that's going outside and doesn't connect with the rest of the house. And all of that makes sense, okay? Um, so what happens is that if the mice come in from the outside, that's really the only area they can access the house from because there's probably a hole somewhere in the ground around the perimeter of the extension that they did for the kitchen. So they come in from this area and then that's the, you know, access, I guess, to the house. So I have to touch that to make sure they don't come back stop don't eat that so to make sure they don't come back into the kitchen I've never seen mice anywhere else um, in the house we don't have them in the basement there's none upstairs it's only in this area and I really think it's because they're coming from the outside and since I have this basket that stops the uh, the door the cat cannot get to them because I've seen a couple of dead mouse outside. Obviously the cat catches mice. But she can get the ones here because they're pretty much in a sealed environment. All right, let me get the phone. Uh, so it wasn't a bad idea to put the trash can underneath the sink. But it's a pain in the butt because you constantly have to remove this thing. I should get a latch, you know that? I should just get a latch. Okay, so what is this? This is great stuff, all right? If they say so, it's gotta be gaps and cracks. Do you need to have my glasses? All right, let's shake it because I think you gotta shake it.
All right. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this dry a little bit, remove the blob I got there, and that will be it. Hopefully, no more mice, and I don't see any other hole, so that should do it. We're back in business, and I did the color balance, so now it looks real. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean the surfaces. I have my uh, Clorox wipes right here. Just gonna do the whole thing, and then every product I'm bringing back in, I'm going to wipe them off as well, only because, you know, I don't know what the mice did in there. Oh my goodness. Hopefully that does the trick. Keep, 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 definitely keep, 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 um, ugh. All right, keep, but that's gotta go in the back. Uh, definitely gonna need that. Oh, here it is, all right. Um, keep, but that's gotta get washed. And this has gotta get washed. Okay. All right, so, um, I'm gonna keep it in the front. I used to have a shelf. You remember when I did a shelf here? Well, it didn't last more than a year, and it turns out that it was more trouble than it was worth. So now I'm gonna wipe all the stuff that I actually use. I rejuvenate. I don't use it all the time. There's not a lot left. I'm gonna put it in the back. There's another one that's like it which is the quick shine floor cleaner. So that's going to go in the back as well. Quick shine deep cleaner. Okay. Oh yeah, the Wyman hardwood floors. These are all the stuff that I use to give a quick buff to my floors but I don't do it every single time so I don't need to have it on hand all the time okay next that upholstery cleaner I don't use it all the time either so that can go in the back um definitely not using that all the time so that can go in the back back right there and then there's the other one that goes with it. So technically in the front, I should only have the stuff that I use all the time, unlike this thing right here. That's the stuff I clean the uh, chimney glass with, the door to the chimney. So I'm putting that over here. All right, so in the back is all the stuff that I don't really reach out for on a daily basis or weekly basis even. Um, but here in the basket, I'm going to put the stuff I use all the time. All right, Fabuloso, wonderful, wonderful smell. Love it. And my lemon oil, that's what I dust with. Swiffer, dust and shine. That's the lavender vanilla. Really, really like this. Pledge multi-surfaces. And you can do glass with it. This one is another uh, Swiffer. I must have brought that one from upstairs. Rillo pads. My silver cleaner. This is crud cutter goo gone. Nah, it's all busted anyway. All right, what else? Oh, the sealer that I'm supposed to use when I finish the grout. So I'm going to put that in the back and I know where it is tomorrow when I'm looking for it. All right, now I can put that up front like this. Where are my garbage bags? That's empty. And the garbage bags. Can go here. All right. Now all I have to do is clean the uh, trash can. 
and put it back. I have this big jar here that we use for the tabs that go in the dishwasher, but right now we're using the liquid one, so I'm not going to use that for a while. I'm going to try to see if I can stash it over there. Yeah. Okay, so it can stay there. That's fine. That's much better. All right, let's put the trash can back in. Trash can, new liner, Under the sink is done. It's much better. It's cleaner. I won't have mice anymore. And the chef, you see what he does? And then he puts his paws over here. And he's the one who broke this, so it's tilted forward all the time. So when I go to the Home Depot sometimes this afternoon, maybe I'll try to get a um, lock for this. I think that's the only way to do it because I really don't want to have this thing hooked up here all the time. I'm still cleaning. Um, I gotta. I clean those. Okay, so now I'm just drying them. Okay, and I changed the sponges. Do you guys use these in front of your sink if you have it? I kind of not really use them. I forget they're there to be honest. Um, but they are practical. Okay, so I got two sponges and I'm pretty sure this doesn't fit. No, it doesn't. So what I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do is clean this one. And that's going to go in here. All right. Ah, I got to clean the whole kitchen. because I'm going to do the oven door and that's going to mess up the floor so I might as well mop later on. I'm going to take a quick break, have a cup of tea and I will see you in a few seconds. Hold on. Technical difficulties. I love my new vacuum. I will see you in a few seconds when I'm ready to tackle the oven door. You know what else is broken? The oven light. I'm going to have to go to Walgreens later on today. Um, pick up the oven light that's in here and see whether or not they have a replacement because I'm going to need it for Thanksgiving. So, the oven door. This is what I'm going to do. 
um, I'm going to do half of it with Dawn detergent and a Brito pad. And then the second half, we're going to do the baking soda with the vinegar. And we're going to see which one works the best. All right. So let's get started. All right. So I'm going to split it in half. This part here, I'm going to do with the baking soda and the vinegar. So we're going to start now. And I'm just following the instruction they have on uh, Pinterest. leave that on for a minute and I'm going to tackle this one here and what I did is that I got a sponge with water so I'm just going to put the water like this a little bit of Dawn because it is a degreaser supposedly and here's my brittle pad I'm going to wet it a little bit and I'm going to start working on it So this is the part of the brill pad. I'm just going to take my sponge and see how well it took the stuff out. And it looks pretty good. Um, hold on. Yeah, it looks pretty good. There's still some dark spots, you probably can't see them, but the most important one that I want to see how this does it because supposedly this is the best way and I'm not convinced. So I'm just going to take in the videos, they take the uh, uh, scotch breath, the uh, gritty part of this sponge to do it. So you just go like this supposedly and everything gets lifted. So we're going to see if it does the same job than the burrito pad. I think it works just the same. Yep, pretty much the same. Um, I'd say the uh, Brillo pad is probably easier because you just can go and start cleaning right away and then the baking soda you gotta let it sit for a little bit. So you tell me if you can tell a difference. This is the side that was cleaned with the baking soda and the vinegar and this is the side that was cleaned with just the Brillo pad. I still have some stuff here so I'm probably gonna have to buff that a little bit more and I think the baking soda is leaving like a white film so I'm gonna consider this done but because I don't have an oven light I can't really see um, through with the light and see if it makes a big difference or not but I tell you what I got this area here that could really use a little bit of brittle pad so I'm gonna do that as well and then the oven itself is not dirty you see all those dark ashes that's from the self-cleaning but I think this thing right here was not put properly so I'm gonna have to do something and then the light for the oven is all the way in there so I gotta go and catch it and see if I can replace the bulb today so here's the oven light uh, I think it's an easy replacement I just gotta go to the store I can't read anything on it. Um, no, can't read it. And then this is the bulb, or the glass bulb rather, that goes in front of it. And you can tell this is really, really gross. So I'm gonna dip that in really, really hot water. 
and I'm gonna get that clean but the one thing I don't like again about the baking soda is that you see this this white powder it's still there so I gotta keep rinsing this thing because I really don't want to have that showing through the glass so I'm gonna rinse it one more time and probably wipe off the bottom here I'm not gonna put the oven on self clean because you can see it's not that dirty So that's done. I just gotta go get the light. I'm gonna go do that right now. Change the bulb inside the oven and we're gonna see through the glass whether or not I did a good job cleaning it. Um, yeah, whether you use baking soda or the Brillo pad, same result. Baking soda will leave a white film and it was way more work than it's worth it. So I'd rather use the Brillo pad. That's just my verdict. All right, I got the new light. Uh, it looks much better in here. I mean, you know, I should probably get it to uh, clean overnight again and then you can actually see what's going on in the oven not so much because this here that's the pizza stone is actually blocking the light so I'm gonna put this at the bottom All right and I'm gonna bring the pizza stone right here I'm gonna have to remove it anyway when I cook the turkey, so, yep. I can actually see what's going on in the oven. All right, um, yeah, I mean, the glass is clean, but there still is uh, some stain, and then there's some stuff I can see is in between. So ideally what I should do is just like um, unscrew here and then on the other side, you know, all of this and take the whole thing out. Oh, it's not worth my time. Du, 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 du. And I did the oven door. I did not switch the mirrors. Um, woo! I feel like I did way more than this. Door stop, yeah, I did that, okay. So tomorrow I'll do the mirrors. I'll switch the mirrors. That should be a 20 minute deal because um, you have to unscrew them from this side and put them on this side instead. You get the idea. And then, um, I'll have to do the uh, switch plates. Don't I have that somewhere in there? I thought I did that already. Light bulb, so cushion, please. Oh, the outlets. I did not do the outlets. Haha. -ha. Okay, let me do that now and then I'll say goodbye. That should not be too complicated. I don't want to lose this one because this one we use on the other side. Okay. Okay, it comes with one screw. goes right here all right why do I have the feeling this screw is not long enough ah 
Ah, all right, it's in. Okay, one. There we go. Looks much better, doesn't it? Okay, let's do the other one. So this is the outlet before, and here it is after. Not a drastic change, but it needed to be done.